Frustrations over crime percolating up here in East Cleveland. I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll. Residents and city leaders gathered outside these apartments, the scene of a deadly shooting calling for change, but some skeptical it'll make any real difference here. Who we here for? Giorgio Mason. Standing in the parking spot where neighbors say Walter Giorgio Mason was shot and killed, Friends, activists, and East Cleveland community leaders gathered, calling for an end to the violence that claimed the life of the 65-year-old last week. I said, that man was a good man. You know, he was harmless. I believe he was harmless. Kim Williams lived in the same building as Mason inside Forest Hill Terrace Apartments. She calls the shooting senseless. A lot of people is, is fed up with this shenanigans, with this foolishness. It's ridiculous. Police haven't released a motive in the shooting, but neighbors believe it started with an argument, quickly turning into the kind of trouble people living here are fed up with. Every single day, you got to go in and close your door. You can't come out, can't walk down the street. You know, what, what do you do? City leaders calling on residents to be vigilant and be a presence in their neighborhoods. Make it known that we're, we're connected in this space. And so that when they're out of order, out of line, or just visiting with malice in their hearts, you know, show them some love in a way that make them want to leave because it's a loving, kind, loving and kind space. But in a city where some say safety has retired. The crime is like cop, clockwork. It's that common. Yep. I believe it is. There's skepticism. We've been saying we're coming together for a million years. We haven't did it. When are we going to do it? In the words of Williams, all the talk overshadowed by frustrations. It is not happening, baby. It's not happening. It's really not happening like that. They can, they can, they can talk the talk, but they're not walking the walk. East Cleveland's acting police chief says they've identified the suspected shooter accused of killing Mason. Police say they have an arrest warrant for murder for Alan Griffin. They're asking him to turn himself in. In East Cleveland, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll.